Spectra's specialty paper mill is making paper from a product you probably wouldn't think of. And to give you a hint, it has something to do with your morning cup of joe. Coffee, that is. Fox 11's Bill Miston has more. At the 130-plus-year-old George A. Whiting Paper Company, they're doing things a bit differently. Kona paper is pulped just like normal paper. It's also wired, dried, and rolled like normal paper. However, the large majority of Kona paper isn't made from wood pulp. It's actually made of fibers from coffee bean bags. You see all these little fibers? They're actually chopped up in St. Louis and then shipped up here to Menasha. That's where George A. Whiting Paper Company comes in, taking these fibers and making them into paper. The concept of making it into paper made some sense, but I'm still thinking in my mind burlap bags. In 2009, two St. Louis entrepreneurs came to Tom Dan's and his company with the idea. This is a little further out of the box than we've ever been. Destined for the landfill, the burlap bags are torn, shredded, and unusable. But after a year and a half of tinkering, George A. Whiting perfected this specialized process. We've basically taken a waste stream product, put it into the paper stream, where now it can be recycled over and over and over. After the fibers, recycled paper, and chemicals are pulped, they hit the paper machine. Each bag is about two and a half pounds. Dan says, generally speaking, about one and a half tons of chopped up coffee bean bags can make roughly three tons of paper. But the whole process is so dusty and dirty, the company can only make Kona paper at the end of the company's production schedule. Such a dirty process, Dan says many mills wouldn't touch it. But for Dan's and his 32 employees, they're fond of niches. As are companies like Caribou Coffee of specialty gift card holders. In Menasha, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Cool story. There are a few companies in the U.S. that are using the paper, but it's not available for a retail purchase. As for how much it costs, Dan says it's about double the cost of plain white copy paper.